If you work with NURB surfaces, you may wish to modify the entire surface or change certain areas. In Vectorworks, there are many ways to get the results that you desire. For precise modifications, you can use the Object Info Palette. Here you can move specific vertices. You can use the arrows to cycle through the vertices in the U or V direction. At the bottom of the Object Info Palette, you will see a U degree and V degree field. This will allow you to increase or decrease the amount of vertices in that direction. Since the U and V directions are perpendicular to each other, the degree field will control the vertices in rows along that direction. When you cycle through the Edit U and Edit V parameters, it will allow you to choose a specific vertex in a specific row. You may wish to move all the vertices in a certain row. For this reason, you are able to choose U vertices or V vertices from the list. Now when you make a change to the X, Y, or Z fields, the entire row will move accordingly. In this example, we can use the Object Info Palette to select the specific vertices in the U direction and V direction on the center of the NURB surface. Then we can change the Z value of the selected vertices in order to create a bowl shape from the flat NURB surface. You can also use the Reshape tool to interactively change the surface. With the NURB surface selected, choose the Reshape tool from the basic palette. You will see three modes in the toolbar that are similar to the options you have in the Object Info Palette. The first mode, Move NURB Surface Vertex mode, will allow you to click and drag on a single vertex to move it to a new location. You can control the direction of movement by choosing one of the four modes in the second set of modes in the toolbar. Working Plane Constrain mode will constrain the movement to your active working plane. This mode will also allow you to snap to other geometry that may be in a different X, Y, or Z location. When using the Reshape tool to modify a NURB surface, you are able to select multiple vertices at once. This makes it much faster to modify complex objects. Select Move NURB Surface Vertex mode from the toolbar. Then hold down the Shift key while you click on each vertex. You'll see the vertices highlight in bold to show they are selected. You can also click and drag a marquee around the vertices you want to select. Once you have the appropriate vertices selected, you can click and drag to move all the vertices at once. You can constrain the movement to a specific axis by choosing X, Y, or Z axis constrain mode. This is useful when editing the NURB surface in an isometric view. Like the Object Info Palette, you can choose to move all the vertices in a U or V index at one time. Choose Move NURB Surface U or Move NURB Surface V vertices mode. Now when you click and drag on a vertex, the entire row of vertices in that index will move with it. You can use the Reshape tool in combination with the parameters in the Object Info Palette in order to modify a NURB surface and get the exact shape you need.